614, some good news in the fight against COVID-19. Illinois' test positivity rate is dropping, and most of the United States is seeing a drop in hospitalization rates in the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases. We're joined again this morning by Dr. Robert Citrenberg, infectious disease expert and advocate Aurora Health. Good morning, doctor. It's good to see you. Good, good morning, Tanya Terrell. So the statewide positivity rate for the past week is down to 4.1%. How do you feel about how it's trending? Well, cautiously optimistic. It's the lowest it's been in several months in Illinois. We're seeing a really continued decline. I think the real wild card here is we don't know the effect of these variants that are circulating, if that's going to push the rates back up to see if people are protected from their prior infection of their vaccine. But our vaccine rates uh, in Illinois are, are going up and actually around the country as well, too. So we're very happy where we are right now, much better shape than we were even a month or two ago but still cautious about what can happen in the next few months. And the CDC had warned about large gatherings, people getting together for the Super Bowl. Are you concerned about that at all, Doc? Um, you know, we've seen, Terrell, after every holiday for the last year or so, we've seen a bump in cases. Uh, I'm not as concerned about Super Bowl parties. Uh, for one thing, uh, you know, the rates are, the vaccination rates are higher. We have more people who've been vaccinated. I'm more concerned about the fact that we're in this stretch of really cold weather, which means that people will be indoors every single day. So it's not just one event, but these next couple of weeks, if it stays really cold, then there's really nowhere to go outside. And then you have cumulative household transmission. That's what I'm a little bit more concerned about. So we'll have to keep a very close eye on that. Dr. Citrenberg, this morning we've learned the drug maker AstraZeneca is racing to adapt its COVID-19 vaccine in the face of new variants of the virus. What can you tell us about that process? Well, AstraZeneca is not the only one. Uh, the other manufacturers, <laughs> Pfizer, Moderna, are also doing the same thing, trying to update their vaccines in anticipation of the next generation of vaccines. I think really what this tells us, first, that the technology is such that they can do that, which is pretty amazing. But I think it also tells us that we're looking towards annual COVID shots, much like uh, we have with flu shots. Initially, we weren't sure if this would be a one-time vaccination or you need more, but I think now the evidence tells us more and more likely we're going to need uh, at least uh, booster shots and perhaps annual shots, just like the flu shot. Interesting and an interesting development that you mentioned there, Doc. Good to see you as always. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.